as you looked at the DC fight, what did you make of that? I made it that, you know, DC is the greatest fighter of all time, you know, no doubt about it. He's undefeated in his career. You know, his losses that he supposedly had that the fans think he had to John Jones, you know, John Jones, we all know John Jones, you know. Everybody, huge asterisks, right? Yeah, huge asterisks. You know, you you can't put him in the GOAT discussion with all this went along. You don't see DC hitting a lady, pregnant lady at an intersection, running off for the foothills. You don't see him with two girls on the back of his car and his family's at home and wrecking his Bentley. You know, you don't see him doing those kind of things. You don't see him failing steroid tests and doing cocaine. So, you know, I definitely think uh, DC earned GOAT status this weekend. You know, he, he just passed me up for ne- number one pound for pound. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get on the same card together. There's a reason, though, that, that he's going to fight Brock Lesnar. You know, Vince McMahon's sending him from uh, WWE to UFC because, you know, now that uh, Bobby Lashley's over in WWE and, you know, he, he doesn't want Bobby Lashley to take his WWE belt. He, he knows that uh, Bobby Lashley and American Top Team has his back and uh, Dan Lambert versus Paul Heyman on the mic in WWE versus Brock and Paul Heyman, would, uh, that would be a, the fight to sell. Do you like the, uh, the Lesnar... DC, I mean, is that was that fun when you saw Lesnar come in there? Did you think, ah, this is ridiculous? Come on, Stipe, Stipe gets a rematch, or what, what? What did you feel from a fan when you saw that? Yeah, no, I liked it. That's entertaining. People, you know, they, that's what they came for is to be entertained. The, you know, the Derek Lewis that fight was not entertaining. They don't sell. They can't talk on the mic. They can't. They don't have any energy. No one wants to watch that. You know, so. I like that. That's that's what sells and draws and the drama and the lead up to the fights is what the fans want to see. I heard people say, as I'm sure you did, as soon as as soon as that got announced, is um, Brock Lesnar doesn't deserve this. And I thought, okay, let's set that argument aside because that that could be true. Has he been in there doing some heavy lifting? I'll go ahead and listen to you on that. But I feel that people are missing the point, guys. It's not that Brock doesn't deserve this; it's that DC does. This is a huge opportunity, and not for nothing. Brock is a national champion. Not for nothing, uh, he is a former UFC champion. He will go into the Hall of Fame. He is a -a once-in-a-lifetime attraction, right? When Brock Lesnar walks in the room, you do feel something. You stop what you're doing. Something's happening over here. I don't know what it is, but something's about to happen. That's very special. And for a guy like DC who had to go through those Jones fights with the asterisks, the Gustafson fight, which is one of the hardest and toughest and best fights I've ever seen, to change weight classes, he deserves something for that. And if that one time is a night off physically, but to have a whole bunch of buildup and have a whole bunch of anticipation, it's not about, for me at least, that Brock doesn't deserve it. It's about, hey, DC does. For one time, this is the guy he wants for whatever reason. And just because we can identify that that's largely financial, so what? I don't understand why when people go, oh, this is marketing, he's just doing this for the money. Why is that used as a bad thing? Why is that not, oh, what a smart guy? We're all in a business together, and he's found a way. I've never quite under. I've never quite isolated how when people can identify that it's it's instantly a negative. But I do think that I, or at least I hope that people will come on board with me. It's not about that Brock doesn't deserve it. It's about DC does. So let him go have his fun. Let him have one moment in this awful, hard, difficult, unforgiving sport where he actually has some fun. I completely agree. Right? I mean, come on, <laughs> give him a break. Right? Everybody, that that's why I started my Nerd Bash movement. You know, all these people on the internet that have different opinions, you know, they're sitting in their mom's basements, they're eating Cheetos, and they're trying to tell DC how he should go about his business, you know? <laughs> right. And I think a lot of these guys, you know, it stems from jealousy, you know? They never want to see someone really just, you know, killing it in life and, and doing big things with business, you know? They, they're still on their mom's couches, so, you know? They just need to let him have fun, like you said. Nerd Bash 2018. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Uh,